Um, my name's Kirsten, I'm 16 years of age. I go to Massey High School and I'm interested in the pharmaceutical industry. We've brought Kirsten 150 kilometres south of Auckland to Morrinsville. Here Kirsten will find out the role of a pharmacy technician. She will spend time being mentored by co-owner and pharmacist Paul Vestor. Um, we're looking for um, a young person who has to have a reasonable aptitude, so although you don't need a particular qualification to do it, you need to be able to learn, and it does involve quite a bit of maths, quite a bit of uh, writing. Also, it would help to understand uh, people. So, uh, you, you've ever been into a pharmacy before, into the ph dispensary or anything like that? Um, no, I haven't seen behind the scenes. So, do you want to go and have a look? Yep. Okay, let's go. Paul shows Kirsten around the dispensary where much of the work takes place. A pharmacy technician assists the pharmacist in the preparation of prescriptions and in the running of the pharmacy. First up, a cream needs to be made for a customer suffering from a skin disorder called psoriasis and Kirsten's math skills are put to the test. This, this cream calls for 5% of salicylic acid which is one of the things you use in it and so how many grams is 5% of 100? 5. Grams. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so if you had 200 grams, how many grams would you, and you needed 5% of it, how many grams? 10 grams. 10 grams. Okay, excellent. Well done. So we're going to put the weight on the scales, start it off for you, and then you can do the last bit. So what we want to do is to get the, the little red measure to go in the middle, okay. and that's it, then it's balanced. That's about it. It's slightly over, and then just grab a little bit off it. Drop it swinging. Very good, excellent. Okay. Well done, you're good at that. <laughs> Next, Kirsten adds the cream. Pull, go for it. Well done. Now you take about as much cream, this is a tricky bit, about as much cream as you think to this powder. As you usual notice, there's little lumps in this powder. And to get rid of them, if I have too much cream, I can't get the lumps out. So you can have a go at that if you like. That's it. You yeah, split it side to side. Now what the other thing we have to do is get the other ingredient, which is called coal tar solution. It's a very old-fashioned ingredient. What we do is we put a little bit of liquid in. And have a go. So now we need you to split it all through evenly. See how it's not quite smooth? Yeah, roll it a bit like I did. Push it across a bit. That's it. Then you've got to get it into a jar. So you don't end up with a wave edge of pop because it's quite hard to get off. Okay. Put it in that way, rather than wipe it on the bottom side. Oh yeah. Because when you do it ends up normally you end up with cream over the lapping over the edge. Some people think that they, they just come and they count tablets, um, which is is part of what they do. But in fact a technician can do everything a pharmacist can do essentially except check off a script. So it's a very multifaceted job. It's not just counting tablets. But counting tablets is an integral part of the job. So what we're going to do is show you how you, you do a prescription. Okay. Ellie here has typed a prescription in, which is actually quite a complicated job, and a technician, that's one of the things they often do. And then we're going to get the prescription. I'll go and get the tablets. And then we're going to go and show you how to count them. Pour the tablets out. Well, obviously you don't want to pour out hundreds, because you don't need hundreds. We need 30 here. Okay. And you count them. Now, a lot of people count in fives. So I'm going to count to 30. And then you... Grab the bottle and you tip them in. You don't touch the tablets because you don't need to touch the tablets. And then you put the lid on and then we'd label it. So I'll leave it to you. Now Kirsten has a turn. Hmm, hope no one's waiting on those pills. So what are the benefits of training on the job? Well, one of the reasons, of course, you get paid from the start and also um, you get to work in the environment, you get plenty of support, you're not isolated doing it in uh, the study and trying to learn about something without any real practicality. And this is a job where the practicality is really important. Melanie Smell has been working as a technician for three years and has almost finished her training. And what aspects of being a pharmacy technician do you enjoy? It's just um, a really good learning experience. You learn more about the drugs as you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's very working with patients, which is good. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy that part of it. During the day, the technicians make deliveries to the hospital, rest homes oh, and clients' home. homes. How are you today? <laughs> this is Back at the pharmacy, new stock needs to be accounted for and the shelves stopped. <laughs> and 
prescription receipts are processed for payment and client files updated. Right, now Kirsten, I'm going to show you how to make a medico pack. Medico packs are a big part of the pharmacy. A medico pack is a safe and accurate way to ensure the customer takes the right medication on the appropriate day. The name of the drugs is just on the foil. Yep. So you know which hole to pop them into. What we really get paid for in a pharmacy, I suppose, is that we not only do the job well, but we do it without fault. So obviously a technician, they play their part in that. If they're careless and don't do things properly, it exposes a patient to danger. So attention to detail is very important. The job offers plenty of variety and a secure future. It's a very important job, increasingly important as, as uh, pharmacies do more prescriptions. Quite sought after if you're a qualified technician, there's generally quite a bit of work out there for you and it's even quite sought after overseas because New Zealand trained technicians are pretty well trained. Does Paul believe Kirsten's got what it takes? Well, I think Kirsten's done very well. She shows great aptitude in her um, maths ability. I'm, I'm impressed with that. She's very keen to learn. She's um, yeah, it's quick, quick to pick up things, um, ask good questions. She shows a lot of aptitude for, for doing, uh, becoming a technician. Thank you, Paul. Oh, thank you. Um, for having me and teaching me all about the industry. That's cool. Yeah, I've learned a whole new different side to it. Excellent. Yeah, it's not just counting pills and giving it to the customers. And looking pretty. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a lot more than that. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot more important, isn't it? Than yes, you maybe thought it was. definitely. Well, it's good. I hope you, um, maybe you take it up. As a yeah. Career. Be excellent. Cool. See you later. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Yeah, I'd definitely consider pursuing this job in the future and I had a really good time and I'm glad I took up this opportunity. Yeah. Pharmacy technicians are required to hold a national certificate in Pharmacy Level 5. Training can be done over 12 to 18 months full time at a polytechnic or you can get a job and earn as you learn over 2 to 3 years. Training technicians can earn around $13.50 an hour and once qualified and experienced, up to $28 per hour. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.